looking at Shane O'Neill's, they they've reached the All Ireland final, so um, it's going to be a tough a tough game. Um, no matter what two teams are there, I mean they've reached the, the the last two teams in Ireland, so it's going to be a tough physical encounter. We've only been going up up and running nine years now, so. Um it is. We won a junior um, Ulster in 2013, so a lot of the girls have been still playing uh, from that from that point. So um, yeah, there's a lot of young girls, but having such a uh, experience um, now in the All Ireland semi has will really stand by them. At the start of the year, um, her aim first of all was to win the county final. We just lost the previous two years, so I mean that was the biggest aim at the start of the year. Um, and since then we've broken it down, um, we regrouped after winning the county, um, we've regrouped to, to challenge for Connacht and now we're at this stage so um, it's just been a process really of one one kind of series after another so it's, it's going well so far. Most of the team have been playing since we've been back at under 12 level, we're all stuck together, we've become a family, more like sisters now. It would absolutely be amazing, for, especially for such a small club and for Armagh it would be um, amazing because I think um, it's the first, it was the first Ulster um, intermediate title brought back to Armagh so we've made history in that sense so hopefully it's done by us on the 4th of December. Winning or just having the experience of your a local team into a county, a county final, Connick final or Ireland final, it lifts people's spirits a bit, the flags are out, the bunting is out and it's a great occasion and we're just hoping everyone gets behind us and travels to Parnell Park on the 4th of December as well to, to, to shout for us and hopefully give us that bit of an edge as well.